everybody, welcome back to MyAfterSchoolToys.com. It has been a long, long time since our last video. Uh, we've been doing some different things, trying to set up some different mediums and working on the website, among other things. So we haven't posted videos in a long, long time, and I apologize, but we are back and better than ever, and we have acquired a ton of new toys. So we're going to jump into it. I thought we would do an unboxing here and see what we got today. So we're going to open this up here and take a look at the toys inside. So let's cut this open. And please, collectors, only surface cut if you're going to use a box cutter because you don't want to cut into a special toy here. There we go. Now you're probably wondering what's in this box, and I do know. It is some Ninja Turtle figures. Not the turtles themselves, we've already done a review on that. But some bad guys, and some good guys, and we are going to take a look at it. Nice little packing of peanuts here. Alright, our first figure up. It's a guy that you're going to know the name of if you love the new Turtle series, but may not recognize the figure. It's Baxter Stockman. You can see him here. Now, Baxter Stockman, of course, in the animated series, was this fly-looking bug scientist here. He's got his arms that attach, like this. Ugly-looking guy. Very cool, though, nonetheless. His wings do move back and forth, like that. He's got a little syringe, nice detail on the front, his bow tie, his creepy bug feet as well. So that's kind of cool, right there. All right, we got Baxter Stockman. Now, of course, in the new series, he's not turned into a fly, at least not yet, and I'm glad they're kind of leaving him the way he is. Uh, love the Nickelodeon series. I think they're doing awesome with that. And glad to see Baxter Stockman in his normal form. But still, for the TV show, this was a cool figure. So let's put Bug, Baxter Stockman, all the way back here. Our next figure is... You know this guy here. This is Bebop. One of the main bad guys. Alright. And this, of course, is one of Shredder's mutations here. He's a warthog. He comes with a pretty cool little dagger. And then he's got his drill gun. Fits in his hand like that. Nice articulation. The arms. And this thing I always thought was weird about Bebop was he had his turtle shells on his arms like that. But still, kind of cool. I guess maybe those are turtles that he slayed and turned into a... Uh, shoulder guard here and then he's got a cool little skull necklace right there and he also has a like a shield that's a uh, garbage can lady. so there is bebop very cool figure all right let's see what's next in the magic bag of ninja turtle figures we have the man himself casey jones we're gonna open him up here and take a look all right Wow, they sent him with uh, two bags here. Actually look a little bit different in material, so this might be a little bit of a... Um, let me get this off here so we can take a look at it. A little bit of a variant, I suppose. But there's his golf bag that he stores his weapons in. And I believe we're missing a couple on this figure. I think he had a hockey stick too. But he does have a kind of a sawn off baseball bat. And here's a piece of uh, wood with a handle on it. So there is Casey Jones. If you hear that crying in the back, that's my annoying cat trying to make herself known. All right, so there is Casey Jones. There's his cool hockey mask. And he's got his sweats with holes getting ripped in him. A lot of detail on these figures. Of course, he has the uh, swivel forearms as well. Very, very cool figure. Okay, let's look at our next one. Our last one in our box that we open up here is, you know who this guy is, Master Splinter. All right, whoever I ordered this from, uh, he sent in a lot of uh, extras here, but here we go, Master Splinter. Of course, he comes with his bow and arrow. 
He has a cloth cape and a belt with slots in it to put some other weapons. The coolest thing I always liked about uh, Master Splinter figure here was this walking cane that he had that also was a sword. Because that is very Japanese. Uh, if you've ever watched the Zatoichi series, which I'm a big fan of, he has a cool cane sword, and so does Splinter. Like that. All right, so that's what we got in this bag. Just some very cool figures uh, for Ninja Turtles. Put this in. See, this is fit in his hand right here. There we go. Something like that. Very cool. Actually, I really like the Master Splinter in the new series. Um, he's got cool definition on his face in the Nickelodeon series. All the different colors and everything. But, you know, the classics are always the best, in my opinion. So, here is Splinter. Alright, well that is our quick and sweet review. Just basically to say, welcome back to ourselves. And thank you for sticking with us while we were gone. We got a ton of new 80s toys to come. And some really fun stuff coming up for the month of April. So keep watching, and we'll be back with more videos. And until next time, check us out at myafterschooltoys.com. And as always, long live the 80s.